A lot of my subscribers said, you know, you could just sit down and read the phone book and I would be there. So this is for you. <laughs> I love you guys. Hello, I'm Mallory. Welcome to Her Eco Life. For you guys that don't know who I am, I am a single mom building a cabin in an eco village that is here in Quebec, Canada. And uh, I have been documenting the whole process since April, uh, since my separation and, you know, the whole thing, the whole shebang. So if you guys like this kind of content, then subscribe. And uh, today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I'm sitting down with you and because I've had a lot of questions in my comments and a lot has been going on this week. I post weekly videos every Saturday, 8 a.m. Eastern time. This week I was house sitting for a friend and I was taking care of my dog and my kids. I had my, my kids the whole week because we're doing the, you know, 50-50 one week with Ben, one week with me. And this week was crazy. So <laughs> my girls have day camp and they were going out, you know, they have a horse camp that they had this week so I had to drive a lot to get everything done and uh, I have a lot of news as well that I want to talk to you guys uh, about so first thing is thank you for all your reaching out for all the tool that I was looking for in the last video uh, so that I can go source out water uh, to find the right spot for my well for my surface well I found a few companies that actually sell that tool uh, that's uh, brand new and I have a few people that also mentioned that they have some laying around at their at their place so we're gonna see if we can get them over or if I buy the new one I don't know yet we'll see we'll see about that so that was just thank you guys so much I love this community for that second thing is uh, I did reach out to a company for my septic field right my leech field and uh, they gave me a lot of information and turns out they work with YouTubers sometimes. So I'm looking at with the marketing team to see if they want to possibly work with me and become, uh, you know, partners. Uh, so that's like a, a little advantage that I have, I guess, while building is that I can reach out to companies and they reach out to me. And it got me thinking a lot uh, because I am doing this mortgage free. I'm taking the money that I had right from the sale of my old place and I'm putting it towards this property. And I don't want to half ass it either. You know, I don't want to do things too fast and too rash and take emotional decisions, which I have done in the past. And, you know, that's me growing, that's me learning from my mistakes. And so I was just about ready to get that submission paper from my excavator guy. And then the idea popped up and I was like, Maybe I could just reach out to the company to see if I can maybe work with them to either diminish the costs or I don't know. We'll see how it goes because I am doing this mortgage free and the, as time goes by that money that I'm using for the construction, well, it turns out I've been spending a little bit of it so, so I can live and you know, it's, it's costly. Living is costly. So I, if I can save like at every process and reach out to many companies it could just help me financially so I'm waiting for them to respond and to see what kind of partnership they were maybe thinking about and if that works out then great I'm, I'm really excited about that but then also I met a few people in the area where I'm building my house and they have told me that if I am planning on doing a foundation like I am planning to do with pillars then since I just got done getting all the trees off the land and you know the excavator came in the thing is with the type of soil that I have with the winters that we have is that the soil is not stable so it takes one full year for the soil the, to be completely stabilized so that it stops moving with the freeze and then the the thaw in the in the in the springtime I have a, one of my neighbors actually built a cabin and the the like the first year and the second year had to get it all back to level because it just worked so much you know so that is something that I had not thought of and I didn't think that could be a problem when I started this project so the goal for this year is really to get my uh, camper set up I probably want to get another battery and a solar panel and get my deck up. I also want to get my water and my septic. So that's going to be like, if I can get that done, 
then I would be really satisfied with, with my work. So, and then it'll have to go till the next season. And I'm probably gonna go out in the woods and get some wood um, cut down this winter too because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of work to do on my property still. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to half-ass it, like I mentioned before. I, I just really want to do things the right way, take my time, make sure that things are done correctly. The other point that I have to go over is that you guys know that I've been working really hard. I went back to school to become a massage therapist. But in my area, it takes three years to get a good client list built so that you can actually sustain financially a family. And so I do have a fair bit amount of clients. Summertime, of course, you know, the, the, the vacations and everything, it's very slow. And when I talked to the bank, they said that if I am a, a massage therapist and I'm my own boss and the revenue isn't stable, then I wouldn't be eligible for a loan at the bank eventually if I want to get it done, like if I want to finish it, which I know 100% that I am definitely going to run out of money before being done completely. So I'm thinking about the future and I'm thinking of looking for a, a little job that I can get for about, you know, six, seven months, at least six, seven months so that I can be eligible for a bank loan in the future. And also not to be able to, not, not to spend all the money that I have for my construction because I mean, let's be real, YouTube, it's it's paying for my horse it's not paying for much other than that so of course when I'm gonna get my content you know better content out at the property from when I'm gonna be building and stuff then yeah that's gonna be really good potential content that could make me money but for now I'm just literally um, you know it's just paying for my horse and if that so <laughs> I do need to find a job I do need to find a job Right now, like if I calculate what I have, like my property is bought, everything's paid for. I paid for like a lot of things that I had to pay for, like my insurances and all that good stuff. I, I have what I have left is about 50,000 and that's including my motorcycle and my camper. So I need to go back to work guys. And I need to put all that money aside and put it in, into, a, into an account and not touch it. So I'm very, I'm living, living very minimally. Uh, you know, the activities that I'm doing, it only costs me a little bit of gas. I'm not going out to concerts or paying for big crazy things. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it real guys. I'm just really limiting my, my spending and I need to be careful because it's, I need that money. So I am, uh, yeah, that's pretty much like the other point that I had. Uh, the next point is that I do have an assembly at the Eco Village uh, this weekend, and I talked with the developer, which is uh, Pierre Yves. He's the guy that started the whole Eco Village. He's going to be my second neighbor. He's going to be building as well. Um, we talked about it, and I think that I'm going to be in charge of recruiting people in the Eco Village and scanning through the people that we want to have with us, living with us, because we would like to have a little bit more people and uh, you know to be able to, to get this thing running because right now there there's 13 properties and there's five of them that are sold so we do have quite a bit of uh, scanning and searching to find the right people to come live with us in the community and to figure out what our strengths are and you know and all that good stuff and because we're not just gonna take on anybody who comes in and says hey I want to buy a property no well, that's not how it works. We're literally going to scan through every single person, give them all the rules and everything and see if it could be a right, a good fit. We want to be able to meet them and interact with them and, you know. So, yeah, that's going to be like my job uh, part time. What, you know, as soon as I can get that done, I'm going to get all my information out there and I'm going to do a video on that eventually so that I can reach a broader audience and uh, to you know at least have all the information in one place as well so that's uh that's what i'm going to be doing in the next few weeks looking for a job reaching out to companies and searching for potential buyers for our for our eco village so i need to get out there and get the drone out too and you know get a, a whole view of the the property so that i can have something interesting to show <coughs> And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what it looks like for now. I'm just really happy that I'm not 
being too rash with my decisions either you know like I really want to do things the right way and I don't want to take emotional decisions uh, to, you know and, and do things too fast where you know I would screw myself over you know and because in the past I have took in decisions too fast and went too fast with certain things and now I just really want to take my time and it's really important for me to also live to live and to take advantage of the beautiful weather that we have too because last summer was horrible we it was so horrible it rained this summer it's so beautiful and before winter hits well I want to make sure that I took advantage to the fullest of this season so I'm enjoying myself a lot I'm, I really am I'm enjoying myself a lot a lot a lot <laughs> So yeah, this is a very different video. I know I know that it's a sit down video, but I, a lot of my subscribers said, you know, you could just sit down and read the phone book and I would be there. So this is for you. I love you. Bye. See you next week.